Hello and welcome back to another Monday.com pattern demo video. Today we're walking through how to, or a little demo of uh, automated tasks and task dependencies. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to create a series of subtasks and set dependencies between them automatically based off the status, based off the um, uh, the change of a status. So for example, let's say we have a new client that just came in and we want to make sure that we create an invoice, send an invoice, and then follow up to make sure that the invoice has been paid. So we want three, three tasks that created. We have a little backend interface here that said that the setup for each individual board. So in this case, Insight 2020 is one of our um, client management boards. And we'll see the three tasks right there. So create an invoice, send an invoice, and then check invoice status. And you'll see they have some uh, tools here to configure the details who we want to assign it to. So in this case, I have two for me and then one for this guy, Ethan. Uh, when we want the task to get created, in this case, they're all set up. Um, when we want to set the due date, one day after the task being created, three days after or 10 days after. And then the set, uh, status start task, and I'll, I'll, I'll start status, I should say. And I'll show you what this looks like in just one moment when we trigger it. So what this looks like is when the project status changes to setup, this will create a series of sub items. So it moves down to in progress, and this should create three subtasks. This might take a moment since we're recording. There we go. One, two, and three. Okay. So three subtasks, and you'll see either the name is going to be really long here, unfortunately, just because um, I have the business name in front. Create an invoice, an invoice to check invoice status. And you'll see only the first task is set for the status of to do. Now, the reason for this is that uh, we want to create all the tasks so we have them listed out, but we don't actually want to assign people yet until they can actually start on it. So I use a little trick in the status column here. If you go under settings, under customized status settings, you can hide, you can uh, change one of the uh, statuses, in this case, waiting to pretend like it's done. So that when people are living in the my work section of monday.com, they don't actually see the task at all until that, uh, until the status changes to do. So what this means is you can create all the tasks in here and your team doesn't know that those tasks exist until you trigger them. Um, so by default, this, this task will get created uh, and it'll change it to to do. So in this case, getting here, that's me. I'll see this in my to do list on, Monday, on the uh, my work section which means I can go and start on it. And I have a due date built in there as well. So in this case, due date of January 24th. So I need to complete this task on January 24th. We'll see here too, we have dependencies. So this task is, or we have these two tasks are dependent on this first one. So normal dependency mapping won't allow you to be able to kick off the subsequent tasks. It'll only allow you to display them on like a Gantt chart type view. But what I did was I made it so that whenever a task that is dependent is completed, so like if I move this to done, it will actually kick off the next task and change this to to do. So now you'll see that this one is to do, this one's finished, and it removes the dependency because it's no longer dependent on anything because the previous one is finished. Um, so this means that you can have, you can auto populate all of your standard uh, setup tasks for the clients that you're setting up. And you don't have to worry about people getting overwhelmed with a bunch of irrelevant tasks because it's not going to display on their to-do list until it's actually ready for them to go and ready for them to do. So if I hit done here, this won't get kicked off to to-do. There we go, to-do and remove dependency. And now Ethan is able to see that he needs to check the invoice status. It'll also have, it'll create the due date, which is found in here, the dues after due after creation, meaning when the trigger happens, when the status changes to setup, create a task and set the due date to be one day after. So if we go back over here, one day after today is January 24th. The other one I have is three days after. So three days after today is January 26th, so on and so forth. So you can create and set your due dates ahead of time and create really advanced dependency mapping. And you can pretty much allow each individual person to be able to kick off the next person in the line and you can do all this really easily. Now the back end to, to manage all of this is done within Integromat or make, since they switch over to make.com. 
So this is the back end. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of the details here of how it's all set up, but basically what it does is it uh, takes a trigger, in this case, when status changes to anything. Then it will get the details of the item, it'll get the board, uh, it'll get the uh, all of the, the items on this board here, the automated tasks, separate configuration board. It will display them and then it will cross-reference the trigger status, so whatever status it, it was, uh, the trigger got set on, and see any tasks in here that match the same status name. So it cross-references and says, okay, where can we find a stat trigger status of setup and where are there tasks that match that same name? Matches those, grabs each of those items. And then from there, it will set a couple of things. Um, it will, ooh, this is actually really complicated. I'll think about it. Um, it will uh, set a couple of details here. I use Google Sheets to be able to map everything out so you put dependencies. That's a, that's a really complicated process. I might have another video for that, but that might be an hour long. Uh, just walking through that entire process, but it'll create all the tasks in the Google Sheet. It'll copy all of those tasks and then it'll populate them back into monday.com as a sub item, keep them really nice, neat and organized. Uh, and then it'll go through and create those tasks. That's the first automation. The second integration is uh, also with Integromat. And this is when a status changes to done. So when any sub, the trigger in here is when any sub item status changes to done, it will look through and it'll look through the rest of the sub items in that same, underneath that same item. And it will say, are there any tasks that are depend that were dependent on this one being completed? And if so, then change the status from, you know, whatever it was before to, to do. So it kicks off the next task. And then that will also remove the dependency here because the dependency is no longer working. Um, so you can just create a daisy chain and it works really, really nice. But I just wanted to display that uh, because I think it'll be helpful for some.